This film story is about a boy named, Aaron. Aaron, is shown who goes to a place for hiking on a day. And this place is wholly desolate. No one is there even at a distance. Aaron, encounters two girls there when he is hiking. Actually, these girls had lost their ways. Then, Aaron, asks them, may I help you to an extent. Saying this, Aaron, moves to those girls immediately. Aaron, directs them to the right path while helping them. Then he embarks on a journey with them, guiding them. Aaron, tells them when they cross a large distance that, I also know the other direction of path. And I give a guarantee that you are going to enjoy too much in this journey. Now they begin to move through the mountain. And these paths are very narrow. Aaron, jumps from there when they all three are ahead from that place. Witnessing this, those girls are scared thinking, Aaron, has fallen down. But, Aaron, immediately calls them from the downside. Actually, there was much water. It was a pool. Now, Aaron, also asks both of them to jump down. Then these both girls hump into the water one by one. Doing so, they enjoy a lot. They are very rejoicing there. Afterwards, they all three move ahead on their journey. Aaron, had to move forward for hiking after coming out of that place. And those both girls have to move to their house. So they make a selfie here before parting. Aaron, asks them, will we get a chance to meet again? One of the girls between them says to him, there is our party tomorrow night. You may also visit there. Later, Aaron, moves away, saying them goodbye. Aaron, is now proceeding through the mountain area. He is very excited and he is also rejoicing this hiking enough. But the paths of these areas are so narrow and threatening. When, Aaron, descends from the two narrow mountains, there is a big rock. When, Aaron, is taking the support of that rock. At the same time, that rock is slipped. Then poor, Aaron, begins to fall down. And the rock through which, Aaron, had taken support, it also falls on his right hand of, Aaron, while rolling down. Now Aaron's hand is caught under a rock between two narrow mountains path. Whereas, he had not got much injury. But his hand was not getting free from that place. He tries his best to get free his hand from there but in vain. When, Aaron, feels that his hand cannot be freed from this place, so he begins to call those both girls loudly for help. Unfortunately, his voice could not be echoed out of that place. Because this is narrow mountain area. And to echo the voice sound from here, where no human or animal even the bird's presence cannot be supposed at a distance. It was about incredible. After it, Aaron, opens his bag and all the equipment of hiking which he possessed, he brings everything out of his bag. He will have to go out of this place at any cost. Because he knew that no one may visit here for many months. There is also knife among the equipment that he has brought out of the bag. Then he tries to break the rock at one side with the help of that knife. But this rock was so solid. It is as solid as it does not get any effect. Moreover, his right hand was caught there. So he was also finding issue to act with the left hand. In spite of this, Aaron, does not lose courage. And he is continuously trying to break that rock. Meanwhile, his knife falls down, slipping from his hand. Now he cannot catch that knife with his hand. Because that knife is at a distance from him. But he drags this knife towards him wisely in some way. And he begins to cut the rock again but of no use. That rock was so solid that the sharpness of the knife had ended completely. At the first sight, the knife falls. Many hours had passed that, Aaron, entrapped here. He was not understanding anything how he can get rid from this. So he continues his struggles to free his hand from there. Doing so, next morning also arrives. Now 25 hours had passed that, Aaron, caught here. He was not getting away to be freed from this place. Then he turns on his camera and starts recording in it. In which he records that I have been entrapped here for the last 25 hours. And no one knows that I am here. Because I did not inform to anyone before coming here. And I had also the shortage of the edible things with this. And there is only 400 to 500 milliliters water for drinking. He hears the voice of someone from upside when he is recording this. As a result, Aaron, begins to shout loudly for help. But his shouting proves useless. Because there is no one. After a few hours, the night again falls there. And, Aaron, begins to feel hungry. And the left edible things which, Aaron, had, he begins to eat them. Then he reminds that I have been invited tonight at dinner by those girls. There will surely be wine. Then, Aaron, begins to imagine that party. Moreover, he also performs the monologue. He also recalls the day when he is leaving his house for hiking on Saturday. Where his mother's call is also ringing to him. But he does not pick up her call and makes it unrevealed that he is leaving for hiking. 
She may come here while searching him if, Aaron, had informed her. Now no one knows as where is, Aaron. On the third day, Monday, Aaron, creates a small wheel with strings. He ties that rock with the help of the ropes. The rock has fallen in his hand. And he tries to lift that rock with help of the opposite edge of the rope. But that rock does not move from its place in spite of his hard effort. Later, he struggles to move that rock while trapping that edge of rope in his feet. But this effort has also remained useless at this time. The trouble was rising because three days had passed. Now his drinking water had also ended. Now he has spare time here as he has nothing to do, so he was observing the minute things here. As a bird is flying in the sky. He cannot even move from here. And some dangerous insects also continue to come there. If he wants to eat those insects after killing them, then he will have to wait for them of their coming. And, Aaron, only gets 15 minutes sun basking in this mountain area. Because the sunlight removes from there later. Now, Aaron, had got upset because of the appetite and hunger in this environment. So he decides to dismember his hand now. So he ties his forearm tightly. And he attempts to dismember his arm with knife that he has. But the sharpness of that knife had ended. So the thin layer of his skin was not cutting with that knife. Being disappointed on this, Aaron, records in his camera that, never purchase the cheap tools. Because they are useless. In this way, one more day is passed. Aaron, is remembering his old days as the night falls. He is missing his family, closest friends and many other friends. Then the sky becomes overcast when he is missing them. At the first sight, a heavy rain starts. Because the water was ended that, Aaron, had. So he begins to fill his water bottle with the water of rain. And there is also begun to flow the water among those narrow mountain areas. Where, Aaron, was entrapped. Now the surface of the water was increasing with first sight. Consequently, Aaron, begins to drown in it. So the liquid water is denser so the things begin to float on this. So, Aaron, also tries to lift that rock, moving into the water. And he lifts that rock after a great trouble. Due to this, his hand is also freed from that rock immediately. Then, Aaron, runs to his car, coming out of that place. He drives away, getting into his car. But it was just his dream. Because it is not as such. He was still entrapped in the mountain area. Now he begins to shout loudly one more time. He begins to hallucinate because many days had passed in trapping. Four days had passed that, Aaron, entrapped here. Now it is his fifth day. So his behavior and the mentality are altered to a great extent. He does the one-sided conversation, commentary, he laughs and also tells this, if I had received the call of my mother at that day or I had told him that. I am coming here then I may not entrap here. And the shop where I had bought the hiking essentials, I also did not tell him anything, he may report of his missing if he knew about this. Due to this, anyone may come to search for him here. Aaron, says to his parents here, I have great affection for you. Actually, Aaron, is recording all for this reason because. His all expectations to be freed from this place were ended. Because he is thirsty, hungry, and devoid of body strength. And this heavy and unmovable rock had imprisoned, Aaron, here. Aaron, again ties his hand for one more time. And the knife of which sharpness is ended completely, he does not attempt to dismember his hand with its help. But he starts stabbing on his hand with the front side of the knife. He stabs the knife so deeply into his hand that it becomes lodged in the bone of his hand. Due to this, his hand begins bleeding. But, Aaron, does not take any step further. In this way, one more day is passed. Aaron's condition is got worse when the sixth day arrives. He was weakened. He will be died if he does not get freed from here. Aaron, also thinks this is this rock is waiting for me from the whole life. This mountain path is waiting for me the day I born. It is perhaps my destination. He writes on that rock, rest in peace. He also states his name along with his date of birth. Because he was damn sure that he will not be able to go alive from here. His all courage was lost with this. He was also so exhausted. He begins to visualize something when he restores his little consciousness on the next day. Then he glimpses a small baby in his vision. Who is the future son of, Aaron? He visualizes that he is playing with his son, due to this, he becomes sentimental. So a power is created in him. So he starts pushing his entrapped hand on the opposite side. Doing so, he fractures the bone of his hand. And the knife which he possesses. He has also sharpened it. And he begins to dismember his hand slowly. In this way, he cuts his hand from his body in such a way. And he frees himself from this rock after cutting his hand on the sixth day. He also takes the photo of his hand before departing from this place. That hand that is still caught in that rock. 
Now, Aaron, comes out of this mountain area with a great difficulty. And he notices, coming out of that place that there is still lying the rainy water there. Then, Aaron, begins to drink a low of water, going there. Because he had not eaten anything or drunk water for the last six days. So he quenches his thirst today. Afterwards, he moves ahead. He also witnesses that bird flying in the sky, which he used to observe daily from T Mountain area. And he was also considering himself free like that bird. But it was still not easy to come out of that area. Because that place was so spacious and barren. But, Aaron, does not lose courage yet. But he begins to move ahead in spite of being in bitter pain. Then he witnesses a family there who had come here for hiking. Then, Aaron, calls them and they run to him. They call the security for the help of, Aaron, then a helicopter lands there. Then, Aaron, is brought to the hospital through the helicopter. Then the scene after sometimes is shown where, Aaron, was perfectly recovered. And Aaron's visualized images of his child also come into the reality. Because, Aaron, meets a girl after three years. And they both are wedded. After this, Aaron's child comes into life who is resembled the same child, who had been visualized by, Aaron. Now, Aaron, looks into the eyes of the death during these six days. In spite of this, Aaron, does not lose his enthusiasm. He still climbs up the mountain and continues to go for hiking. Where he visits then he must write this story as which places have been visited by him. Let's reveal the shocking reality here. This story is based on the real life history. It means that it is truth that, Aaron, had been entrapped in those mountain paths for six days. He spent his time there hardly. He had also written his date of birth and death on the rocks of that place. Because he was sure that he will never return alive from here. And the rock under which Aaron's hand was pressed, its weight was 360 kilogram. There was lack of the edible things and water. But his good quality that he did not lose the courage. This was the only cause that he survived for the five days. On the sixth day, when he was sure that he will not survive, then a supernatural power helped him in which he visualized his future son. He got courage through this and he finally succeeded to come out of that place. Aaron, has also interviewed with this statement if he dismembered his hand before. Then his much blood was wasted and he may not able to free himself from here. If he did not dismember his hand when he cuts his hand at that time, then he could also die there. When he dismembered his hand, then his body was weak so his blood did not waste much. So this was the cause that he continued to wander there for four hours in spite of cutting his hand. As a result, Aaron, demonstrates his strength by refusing to accept defeat. Afterwards, this film completes here, showing this scene. Thanks for watching.